Thank you. Thank you. Even though the card says Scott. <laughs> <laughs> He's the one that's easier to get a hold of. So, Well, uh, first off, thank you for allowing me to be here today um, and welcome Ocala. Uh, I'm Michael. I'm with Blue Basil. We're always fresh. At least we try to be. And um, let's get right into it. Who are we? Well, Blue Basil is, um, if I can get mine going at the same time here. Okay, Blue Basil, who are we? We are the pasta guys. We are highly skilled in creating pasta with unique flavors, consistency that cannot be matched with large batch commercial companies. What's that mean? What am I talking about basically? Our pasta is all handmade. The pictures that you see behind all of these, these are our pastas, they're fettuccine. We do all different types of shapes and all different types of flavors. Let's see here. Uh, how did we get started? Well, first off, we started, myself personally, uh, I started as a chef. I went uh, to the Culinary Institute of America in Hyde Park, New York. I graduated a long time ago and uh, worked throughout the country, uh, going from restaurant to restaurant, did different positions such as sales, front of the house, back of the house, and then I finally uh, ended up here in Ocala and I decided uh, I was bored, I needed something to do, and uh, I said, let's try out pasta, see what happens. So we started uh, doing pasta here in Ocala. Um, we started, uh, currently we're under the Cottage Act right now. Uh, we're developing our product slowly, but we're using, uh, you know, recipes of my own that have uh, a secret and I will say secret and special blend that uh, don't anybody ask for it because you're <laughs> not getting it. But it is, a, uh, it is a unique blend and it is the traditional way of making pasta. Uh, anybody who's Italian in here, who's Italian in here? Oi. <laughs> That's it? Okay, all two of you understand pasta then. No, most people love pasta. And uh, a lot of the box stores have pasta out there today. You know, there's Prince Spaghetti Day. Well, now we're going to have Blue Basil Day. So, um, hello. Did I even do that? Okay. Where do we sell? Well, currently right now we're selling at a lot of the uh, local farmers markets, as you can see right here. Um, we also do uh, cooking classes. Uh, we also do kitchen organization. Uh, we like to do cooking demos. We love to be with the public. We don't just do, at these cooking classes, pasta. So it's a wide range of uh, uh, teaching that we can do. Recently, I just did a cooking class and uh, it was with a bunch of ladies who went out horse riding in the morning, came back inside, and we did 30-minute meals. It was a lot of fun. It was very educational, and we were able to uh, present our pastas there as well, but we were able to show them that we're a very diverse type of a company. So we're not just, uh, uh, to, we're not just at doing just pasta. Okay, we can do more than that. Uh, all our pasta is an artesian style pasta. It is a lighter, more flavorful with no artificial colorings. And I will say that there are no artificial colorings and there are no preservatives. Every single ingredient in our product, you can actually pronounce it. It's, <laughs> it's very important to me that you can pronounce it. Um, in a lot of the uh, box stores, and I'm just, going to say that. A lot of the box stores, you'll pick up a pasta and you can put it in your uh, cabinet or your pantry or ha what have you, and it'll last forever and a day, okay, um, until the little bugs come out and start eating it, okay. Oops, sorry. Anyway, it'll last forever and a day. My pasta, it'll last two weeks. The reason is I don't add preservatives to it. You're going to get the flavor that should be in our pasta, full flavored pasta. We do so many different types of pastas. Um, we sell pastas that are with uh, orange cardamom, apple curry. We sell pastas that have roasted garlic in it. 
There's so many different types of flavors. We want to be unique. We want to be different. And that's our goal. We're going to be different. Uh, who do we sell to? We sell to everybody and anybody that wants pasta and loves it. We'll educate you on how you can have our pasta. Uh, what sauces you can have with it. What ingredients you can have with it. Um, we do deliver the pasta as well, currently right now, to anybody who, for instance, uh, cannot make it to the market. Okay, I'm, I'm hurrying. Okay, I'm almost there. If you look inside the pictures here, you'll see a lot of the pastas, like I say, that we do. Uh, we are a different company in a lot of ways that we like to make our experience personal and very memorable to people. Um, we do, and you can see a list of the pastas here, jalapeno lime, lemon basil, bacon, barbecue, cardamom, chipotle, et cetera, et cetera. It goes on. Our pastas change every week. We also do potato gnocchis. I'm going through this real fast. I'm going to forget to do this. Sorry. That's our potato gnocchi dish in the back there. Okay. Next for our company, or... Yeah, we're on that one. I went up too fast. But anyway, our goals basically are within the uh, next six to nine months, we are looking to be in our own facility producing our own uh, product here. We want to do production first. We don't necessarily want to open a retail storefront right now. We kind of want to just do production. Um, what we... Um, what we do need to learn and understand are basically more of the laws, the permitting, uh, what our problems have been uh, experienced right now is I'm very new to Ocala, so I don't know much of the area itself. Um, we're looking for financial support. We're also looking for uh, other avenues of uh, help that can make our company grow uh, with this community. Uh, so if anybody has good advice, that'd be great. That's it.